Hi there, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode where I review films currently in theaters. Today, we're talking Thor, Love and Thunder. Thor, Love and Thunder is the fourth installment in Thor's standalone movies from the Marvel Universe. It stars Chris Hemsworth as Thor once again. This time he's facing Gore the God Butcher, played by Christian Bale, who's on a mission to kill all the gods. So it's up to Thor, King Valkyrie, and uh, Jane Foster, Thor's love interest from the first movie, who now has the power of th a Thor, uh, to stop Gore from his evil plan. Now, this movie is difficult for me. I loved the action moments when they happened, and I loved Christian Bale as Gore. I think he was fantastic as the role. I think he is intimidating. I think he gives the right amount of energy. I really enjoyed him as the villain in this movie. However, I felt like the movie was a mess tonally otherwise. It tried to push the limits of comedy in the movie uh, that were pretty much set in Thor Ragnarok. And when it does it, it just feels like it's making fun of the situation they're in. And Gore does some truly heinous stuff in this film. And it just kind of feels like it's making light of the situation that our characters are in. I'm trying to be vague just in case you want to go see the movie. But it just didn't work. Every time they did a comedic moment, occasionally it got a chuckle out of me. But afterwards I was like... Why are we messing around here? There's a madman who has the potential to kill a bunch of people. And our characters aren't really taking it all that seriously, in my opinion. Uh, I... Hmm, I wanted to like this one. I actually like the other three Thor movies. I think the three Thor movies are the best in the MCU. Uh, I guess I'm standing by that. Uh, if I ever get to Thor Dark World on my Monday Night Movie Reviews, I will probably explain why there. But, uh, I actually really expected this movie to be really good. Uh, even when the trailer showed it was going for a comedic tone, I thought they were going to at least balance it with a more serious atmosphere, and they just didn't do that well enough. At the end of the day, even though I think that the action was decent enough and our main villain was actually frightening, I just can't say this film succeeded in doing what it was trying to do. At the end of the day, I give Thor Love and Thunder a 5. If you've seen this movie and disagree with me, fantastic. If you enjoyed it more than I did, that is splendid. I'm, I'm very glad for you. Uh, anyway, if you have seen Thor Love and Thunder, let me know what you did think of it in the comments below. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.